Hi everybody, I want to create a video to show you how you would use the EasyBib add-on in Google Docs to easily format your MLA citations. We're also going to review how you would do the EasyBib citation for pictures, which is a little bit more complicated. Remember, for this particular project, you need to have at least three sources of information. So I've logged in as a student um, in my Gmail. To get to Google Drive, I'm going to click on the boxes and go to Drive. I apologize for my son's drumming in the background, by the way. So here I am. I'm going to create a document. And what I suggest you do for this project is have a Google Doc where you keep track of your search terms, because remember, that has to be one of your slides, and also where you create your citations. You will then copy and paste that information into your Google presentation. OK, so let's get started. So you'll see here in my menu options, I have one that says add-ons. So if I click on add-ons, I already have the EasyBib bibliography creator. If you don't have it yet, you would click on get add-ons. You would find the EasyBib app, which if you scroll down, here it is. And if you hover, if you haven't downloaded it, it will say free here, and you would just click on that. Since I've already downloaded it, it says manage. And what I need to do now is first go and get the website that I want to um, create a citation for. So I've actually done that search in another tab. I searched on Christopher Columbus Info, please. And this is the site I was brought to. I know this is a reliable site and it has some good information, so I'd like to cite this source. So I come up to the URL or the address bar. I select the URL or the web address. I use either Command C if I'm on a Mac or Control C if I'm on a PC. I go back to my document. I click on Add ons, Easy Bib, and Manage Bibliography. A sidebar opens up and it says Cite a Source. I click on Website because that's the type of source I would like to create a citation for. I click in the box and I either do Command V or Control V, once again, depending on the type of computer I have. Then I click Search. It finds my information, so I click on Select, and it's going to come back with the actual citation, the format that I need. Once again, notice that MLA is selected here, not APA or Chicago. I'm going to click on this red button that says Add Bibliography to Doc. takes a few minutes, especially since I'm um, creating a video at the same time, but it's going to come back and include this in my document. So you'll see that the citation has been formatted for me in the MLA format, which is exactly what I want. On my presentation, what I would do on my last slide is I would just select um, the information in my document. I'm going to do a Control C or a Command C, once again, depending on the type of computer, and copy that right into my presentation slide. Now, to cite a picture, a citation or a picture source, it's a little bit more difficult. Here I've done a search for images of Christopher Columbus, and then I'm going to click on the word images. So let's say I would like to include um, this image. If I click on view image, which I really need to either go to the website the visit page or the view image because remember Google is a search tool it is not a source so you need to get to the source so I'm going to click on view image and I have the URL up here so I'm going to select it and once again I'm going to do command C because I'm on a Mac I'll go back to um, my site of source page I'm going to command V again on a PC it would be control C and control V and search now, it couldn't find the results because it doesn't work for pictures or PDF files. So what I need to do in a new tab, I'm going to search on EasyBib to go to the website itself. We're going to create this citation manually. So I go to EasyBib. Make sure MLA is selected. I'm going to do Command V again and do Cite It. Now I get the error message saying that it was a PDF or a JPEG or a picture file, so it couldn't find it. So I'm going to click on Cite This Source Manually. 
for this project, all I would like you to do is add a few pieces of information to this screen to get your citation. So the first thing I'd like you to do is if just page down a little bit, scroll down a little bit to the URL field. We're going to click there and do a Command V or a Control V depending on what type of computer you have. We want to display the URL, so we're going to click Yes. You need to put in the day that you accessed it. So I accessed it today, so I'm just going to click on today. But you could, you know, choose the month, put in the day and the year. For the website title, what I'm going to do is go back to the file with the image, okay? And I'm going to see if I can find that page. So it looks like it's called Christopher Columbus Exploration and something else. So I'm just going to go with the Christopher Columbus Exploration. So let me go back to EasyBib and on the website title I'm going to type in Christopher Columbus and Exploration. And that's all I'm going to include. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and click on Create Citation and it comes back with this citation. I'm going to select the citation. Again, Command or Control C, go back to my document, and then just go to the next line and do Command or Control V. And that's all there is to it. You'll notice that this looks like it has a little bit of a um, shading behind it, so you may want to remove that format um, if you can. And that, we do by clicking this icon here. Um, and then you may have to um, change the margins and you know make this italic. So you may have to put some of the um, formatting back in. Um, that is really it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, once again, once you're doing your presentation, after you have all your citations, what you would do is just select them all. Control C or Command C to copy them and then on the last slide in your presentation you're going to paste them and that should take care of that. Um, once again I encourage you to use this add-on in Google Docs. It does make citing sources much easier. You do have to do a little bit more work if you're citing um, a picture or a PDF because you need to do that a little bit manually. If you need to watch this video more than once please do so. And if you have any questions, either see me during class or feel free to email me. Thanks.